Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Tuesday, the 14th of April. Um, it's going to be a shortish one today because I've got a lot on um, packing my day, particularly betting stuff, talking to people. I'm loving it. Um, a nice start of the day. I had some northerners sending in pics of the old scenery. Um, Steve up in red car. I had a picture of a red car in it, which somebody spotted. did make me laugh. The old sales of Photoshop in the northern postcodes is shot up. They're trying to show it's not grim, sending me all these nice landscapes, sun shining. Um, could be anywhere, really, couldn't it? Could be Cornwall. But um, no, um, joking aside, lovely guys. I like that. I like a nice bit of nature and animals. So do send those in. It's something different. Again, breaks up this monotony of this lockdown. Um, nice to see. So if you get up in the morning, you've got a nice view or you're out walking, animals, nature, dogs. I love all that stuff. So do feel free. It's um, better than shit about 5G on my timeline or uh, man-made coronavirus. So let's crack on. Um, not going to have any of that today. That's it. Not mentioning it again. I do have to mention that Trump. Watch his press conference last night. The first time a reporter said to him, that is not true, which I did enjoy. And that was good. Um, so that was uh, the way to go. That was the way to go for it. That is brilliant. I like that. Just get themselves. That is not true. If they all did that, we'd get somewhere. Um, right. Where am I going to start? What shall I start with? I'm going to start with the stat of the day. I've gone racing again, and this one is going to blow your minds. In fact, anybody could do this one. You don't even need my files. Um, since November 2019, uh, what am I talking about? Why November? Where did that even come from? I don't even, November's not even in the equation. Since January 2019, so since January 2019, up until racing ceased on the 17th of March, um, was the last race in this system. So it's right up to date. I don't know if that is the exact day that racing ceased, but that's the last day of this system. So right through then, on national hunt flat races, irrelevant of where they are, irrelevant of class, grade, whatever, national hunt flat races, if you had backed the favourite at 11 o'clock in the morning, so the Betfair favourite at 11 o'clock, um, if you had backed that, not at 11 o'clock, but waited till later in the day, so note the horse that's favourite at 11 o'clock in national hunt flat races, and backed it win and place, you would have won 100 points. You'd have had 320 bets. You'd have won 77 points in the win market and 24 points in the place market. Just back in the favourites. You're not talking silly odds, obviously, some of them, but you've a lot of winners. I mean, out of the last... Out of the last 21 races... One, two, three, four, five, six... Last 21 races, you'd have had 14 winners. Uh, National Hunt flat races only... The 11 o'clock favourite, as per Betfair, not as per bookmakers, nothing to do with bookmakers. 11 o'clock favourite, and then just before the off, back that horse. If, and if it's drifted or whatever, doesn't matter if it's not still favourite. Backing the 11 o'clock favourite at win and place. The market tends to get these right, and you get a lot of winners, um, and they know what's going on early. So... National Hunt Flat Races, 11 o'clock favourite since January 2019. Just going on doing that, nothing else. You'd have had 320 selections, 132 winners, 229 placed. You would have bagged yourself a nice old bit of... Um, what is it? Yeah, just over 100 points. 101 points exactly. There you go. That's the stat of the day. There. Thank me later. Um... Right, don't even need my software for that. You can just go on and do it. Um, right, recipe of the day. We're going healthy. We're going for a bit of fish. Salmon and trot... Oh, I can't speak this morning. What's the matter with me? I've been talking all morning since 8 o'clock. Uh, salmon and broccoli tray bake. This is nice and healthy, cheap as chips, and takes about 35, 40 minutes. So anybody could do this. Um, just buy fillets of salmon. Um, and you are going to put that in a marinade. In that marinade is honey, balsamic vinegar, uh, crushed garlic, and some salt and pepper. 
mix all that together and brush that all over the salmon uh, and then leave that to marinate in the fridge for a couple of hours um, and then you can just take it out and let it get back up to room temperature so just honey balsamic vinegar crushed garlic and some salt and pepper mix that all together in a bowl brush it all over every side of the salmon leave it to marinate for a couple of hours in the fridge um, and then you can take that out and while that's warming up to room temperature turn your oven up to 180 uh, fan oven 200 if not fan gas mark 6 for those of you on gas um, and get your broccoli so you want a good head of broccoli broken into florets some um, new potatoes or salad potatoes just cut them in half a red pepper thickly sliced up a red onion sliced up and the old favorite the mushrooms get the old baby button mushrooms or some whole cut mushrooms um, so basically throw that all in a pan so about Throw all those, uh, not the mushrooms, sorry, throw the potatoes, the broccoli, the red pepper in a pan. Um, give it a quick spritz with a teaspoon of oil, stir it round, roast those in the oven for 20 minutes. There. After 20 minutes, take them out, add the mushrooms, put the fish in, cook it for another 10 12 minutes. Be absolutely perfect by then, lovely with the marinade. Um, take that out. Serve it up, a bit more um, seasoning, and rip off some basil leaves and just scatter over the top. So you've got salmon, broccoli, potatoes, pepper, red onion um, in a nice marinated salmon. Beautiful, literally one, one pot in the oven, one tray in the oven, takes seconds. Obviously, those of you bleating about mushrooms, you can just leave them out, can't you? Don't have to upset yourselves. Leave them out. Um, right, that's that. Um, Book of the day, book of the day, simple one. Book of the day uh, is the success equation. Untangling skill and luck in business and sports investing. Um, just lets you understand a little bit more about uh, the difference between skill and luck. Um, and oh, it's years, I can't remember when I read this, but it's a while back. Um, so yeah, it's just, just uh, another one if you're interested in that. Some people might find it a bit laborious. Um, but it is really just talking about how different levels of skill um, and degrees bad luck shape us um, and actually trying to determine and distinguish between the two. Understanding it, I guess, is the word I'd say. Understanding a bit more about skill and luck. Um, so the success equation by Michael J. Mabusin, that is, that book. Um, again, on Amazon, you can get that. Um, I think we've now got... A thing going on the site as well as well as the as well as the um, forum I think we're going to put a page on the site with all these on um, that's the joke done the, no joke of the day joke of the day bloke walks into a pet shop and says I'd like to buy a wasp please shop owner says I'm sorry sir we don't sell wasps the guy says well that's funny you've got one in the window <laughs> that's not from me that was from I believe FTS member Gary Kind I'm not taking any responsibility for that FTS was it Gary I think it was Gary Kind um, it was yes Gary sent me that he's one of them, he says it's so bad it's good there you go uh, and Gary also recommended a film for us Manhunter which I haven't seen I said on the pod I liked Silence of the Lambs uh, Gary came back and said you need to watch Manhunter which is based on his book Red Dragon I thought there was a movie Red Dragon which I might have seen but I don't know but it's um, Hannibal Lecter again so it won't be for everybody's cup of tea but he, Gary's thing, I think it excels silence in every aspect. But that is down to opinion. It is Gary. It's not a fact. It's down to opinion. Um, so Gary recommended that. And somebody else recommended a film I have seen, which I did really enjoy, Moneyball. Uh, Moneyball, which is a true story of how um, a baseball team didn't go about spending a lot of money. They built a team that actually won the World Series um, based on really putting people in the right positions. Uh, Brad Pitt stars Billy Bean, I think, is the the coach um, it's based on. Um, again, a good few years since I watched it. I might even give that a rewatch during this lockdown period. Moneyball, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but good movie. Um, we've had TV suggestions, Gamora, Ozark, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. I haven't seen any of those, um, but I'm sure a lot of you have, but they were things that were on the Twitter feed yesterday. I'll have a look through. And um, Chernobyl, um, otherwise known as Hull. <laughs> Uh, Chernobyl is um, 
comes highly recommended. I think that was Sky last year. Again, I haven't seen that. Um, but don't just sit stuffing TV down your throats. Do things, make, create, cook, read, educate, learn new skills. And of course, we've got FTS Fitness. I haven't mentioned for a few days. Top right of the website, get up there. FTS Fitness, Neil, that did us some workouts, five workouts up there. Get yourselves up there doing that. Um, been talking to a lot of, we've been sort of putting this training together and talking to, uh, the one word that comes up with everybody is confidence. Incredible how often it's come up over this last week, 10 days. I've been talking to people about betting in general and, and what would they like to see and learn as we sort of look to do some module module webinars really on different aspects of betting uh, is where we're really going to try and take this. Um, so make eight or 10 webinars that are on the website hour long or whatever. Um, and and have people attend them um, and Q and A's and that, but that's that's down the line. But the word confidence has come up, um, and the reason the reason it is simple why people haven't got confidence. One, as I've said many times, you're all scarred. But the bottom line is because you've gone about it all wrong. You've got no idea why you're doing it, what you're doing it for. There's no process to it, and as such, then you can't have any confidence in it because most of you started out punting with a way to to view quick cash. You've looked at me or Peter Webb or whoever it may be, hunting for profit or whatever. You've just looked at it. They win money. I can do that um, without really understanding any of the work or process that's gone into it. So how can you have confidence in it? It'd be like me. I mean, I go to, I remember going to Australia to see my sister and seeing people surfing. I've never surfed in my life. So you look at it and think, I'd love to do that. Look at them going up and they can ride these flipping waves go along. I love water stuff. You know, when I would go to Disney, I love the water parks more than the other stuff. Um, I'd love to be able to do it. But I've never even considered it. I don't know how to do it, what you would do. And it would only end in one thing. I'd go out in the sea, get on it and fall up in a flipping crushing heap on a, before I'd gone a yard. Um, the process I would have to go through is learning what am I doing, why am I doing it, before I even attempted to take it out to ride a flipping wave. Um, so that's the sort of an analogy I've got. It's, you know, you've got to have some underpinning below it that gives you the confidence. Then actually, I know I can do this. I know I can surf because I've done all this. I know I can bet because I've done all this. But most of you just dive in, buy it, bang, sign up, bet, give up, fuck off, fall in. in my case, falling off in a big mess in the waves. You lot giving up. Um, so I'm looking at ways to to build on that for people. But that's bottom why bottom line why you haven't got confidence because you don't really understand what you're doing. Um, there you go so look just interesting thought that um, so that's it I've done the broccoli and the salmon I've done the racing stat national hunt flat you'll like that we've done the joke from Gary and a couple of movies a couple of TV FTS fitness we've also got FTS connect I keep saying I know this is a tough time it does look like we're seeing numbers plateau a bit but that's still a long way from us being able to go out and live a normal life um, and you know, we've got, always got to bear in mind we think we're having a bad time. There's, every day there's hundreds of people waking up without family. Um, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. But um, FTS Fitness, get up and do that. And FTS Connect, I want to be put with people, email me, I'll link you up and get you talking to people. Talk about anything, do whatever you want. Um, right, that's me. Tomorrow is guest pod day. We've already recorded it. We recorded it this morning. Jeff. Um, I absolutely loved it. I really enjoyed talking to Jeff this morning. We did it nice and early. Um, and to coin, was it Bruce Forsyth who used to come out to the audience and go, you're so much better than last week? To coin his phrase, Jeff, so much better than my last two guests. Um, really enjoyed it, so you'll want to listen to that tomorrow. I'll obviously need to do my bits on the beginning and end, do the stat day and all that. Um, but we'll have Jeff's interview tomorrow. I think we've got about 40 minutes with Jeff this morning. Um, something well worth listening to. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, as I say, we, we put these all together for you. Appreciate Jeff giving his time to come on, and um, I think you'll all enjoy getting get something out of it. But that is for tomorrow. Right, have a lovely, lovely Tuesday. And I will be back with you tomorrow morning sometime.